Hey Fire Signs, it's Nicola. So this is your daily read for September the 25th, 2019. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so let's get started. Give me one for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me one for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me an oracle card for Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, we have eternal now. All right, so let's see here. Did I pass it? There we go. It says, within you is great strength and courage. However, just because you can manage to keep going when you are drained or stressed, it doesn't mean you have to do so. You are encouraged by your higher guidance to request assistance in letting go of tension within your mind and body. You will gain energy through this release and perhaps even see things in a new and more optimistic life, shifting into a more present, relaxed, and enjoyable state of being with the help, with help you overcome the past. Uh, my apologies. Shifting into a more present, relaxed, and enjoyable state of being will help you overcome the past and successfully create your future. All right, so let's see what we have for Aries. Give me one for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, Aries. We got Dark Angel here. So let's see here. All right. The Dark Angel comes to you with a radical truth. Divine love is always there for you without exception. Love will never forget you. It will never stop caring for you. Even when it seems most unlikely, in fact, especially then, the divine is reaching for you and nurturing you. Even our wounds are ways that we can discover love and divine grace through the healing process. The divine is always helping you to remember who you are and find your true joy. When the dark angel appears, you are being given a gift of light, it, even if it may seem to be a hidden blessing. Ooh. So there are going to be some clarity, Aries. That's what it sounds like from that reading. Give me one from for Leo. Shit, Leo. Initiation by fire. I really don't need to read that one, but I'm going to read it for you anyway, Leo. But that does mean that there's going to be some things that are burnt away in your life. All right. It says, initiation by fire is a life-changing spiritual cleansing. Your life will never be the same again. Allow the power of divine fire to clear and purify you inside and out. This is not a time to hold on to anything, no matter how much you once believed you needed it. In letting go, you will gain so much more than you ever imagined, opening to fresh blessings and new life. You are, like the phoenix, ready to emerge from the holy flames, reborn. All right, so the underlying energy is the key of life. Let's see. I have not read that one, so let's see what this is. It says, Archangel Michael loves you unconditionally and serves your journey. He brings you a spiritual gift now, the key of light. This key allows you to open any door, clear away any obstruction, and free yourself from any prison or enslavement, physical, emotional, or psychological. There is no need for you to feel trapped or locked out of a situation you want to get into. You may now hold within your hands a divine key that will assist you in many ways. All right. So let's see here. What messages do we have for my fire signs? I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. These cards are so stiff, y'all. All right. So give me messages for my fire signs. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Let's see. Let's just do this. Yeah, that works better. Give me messages for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Some and Rising Venus. This is for Wednesday, September the 25th, 2019. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Some and Rising and Venus. This is for Wednesday, September the 25th, 2019. What messages do we have for Wednesday? September the 25th, Aries, this may be for you because um, I've seen Aries twice. This is for Wednesday, September the 25th, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just going to put that in the middle. All right. And I don't want to hear nobody get on here talking about, you need to catch the, the flippers. I do catch the flippers if they flip up and if I can actually see what it is. But while I'm shuffling, if, you know, sometimes I do put them back. It's according to what I see. Nine of, oof. 
someone is very persistent in having something be over. I just want it to be over. Y'all remember that? Who's seen that song? Keisha Cole, baby. I just want it to be over. So somebody is like, I'm done fighting. Six of Swords here. I'm moving on. I just want it to be over. Somebody facing their fears, baby. Making a decision. Judgment here. Page of Wands here. Seeing the truth here. Someone is moving. It looks like somebody moving toward a new relationship. Nine of Wands. Ten of Swords. Embracing the end. Very much finding the strength to, okay, this is done for me. So somebody is in that space, in their head space. This is done for me. Most definitely moving forward, making a decision to move forward. I feel like someone has had some fear in the past, but now they're finding their strength to embrace the end and move on. Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Moving toward uh, calmer waters here, toward balanced mental state. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords? Six, six of Swords here. I feel like two people are in alignment, could be moving together. Okay. Ace of Wands, yes, new opportunity here, unexpectedly. Oh, shit. Y'all, I got stuck. <laughs> I got stuck. I couldn't move. All right. So, yes, this has been a, in, a, in the making for a long time. Knight of Pentacles here. So this someone has been very methodical in their thoughts and in their actions and in, in, in making this happen. Three of Wands here. Uh, someone, this is no more waiting. Um, death here, three of wands here, page of pentacles, some, someone sees the value in moving forward toward a new opportunity. So, I just want it to be over. Mm. Keisha Cole, that thing. Someone sees the value in moving on. Moon card here, could be dealing with the Pisces. Why is this a moon card here? Could be some things in the past that were hidden, maybe uncovering some things. Judgment here, six of pentacles here. Someone's balancing their fears, facing their fears here, making a decision, waking up and seeing the procrastination, Knight of Cups here, universe here. Shit me. Somebody is making an offer here. Somebody is facing their fears, creating balance here, seeing an opportunity to balance a situation that may have been hidden or may have been, um, someone may have procrastinated doing this before. Somebody, this is moving forward here. This is a transformation here. Judgment, awakening here. This could be an awakening of feelings, which is causing someone to move forward here. Because with the judgment and the moon card here, it's like, Ta-da! Here we go. Judgment here. Why is judgment here? So we have the Knight of Swords here, Five of Cups here with the Four of Pentacles. Woo. Woo. So I feel like someone's moving forward, making a decision. Someone is, I feel like someone is holding on to some regrets as well. Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like someone feels like a cycle is complete time here. Judgment here. Four of cups here. Someone's unhappy here. Someone was holding on to some unhappiness, to some, to some regret. Sagittarian energy here. Jupiter energy here. Empress here. Taurus, Libra energy here. Whew. Ooh. So someone here is, I feel like someone may have missed an opportunity here with the Libra or a Taurus here. An independent, someone who is, who is secure, who is abundant. Someone could be wanting to reconcile that. But there is some regret in, 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 in not taking action. So someone here is going to have to find strength here. Okay. So page of wands here. Why is this page of wands here? Whew. Four of wands here with the knight of wands. So someone here, there could be a message that kind of propels things forward. Um... Because Page of Wands is messages coming in, good news coming in, Ace of Pentacles here, new start, um, new opportunity here. I feel like it's going to kind of move fast. I feel like you're going to move into a relationship pretty quickly here. Knight of Swords here, Two of Cups being the outcome. I feel like someone's going to move into a relationship pretty quickly here. Why is this Two of Cups here? You see they're sharing their love, okay? Virgo energy here, someone is thinking about that. High Priestess here, they may not be talking about it here. Empress here, mm, told you, that Taurus under there. Someone here is wanting a situation to be over so they can move toward it. And I'm going to be real with you. This isn't, I don't feel like this is a commitment. 
So if you feel like someone's coming in and they're gonna be like, uh, let's get married, let's go have some kids or something like that. No, I don't think that. I feel as though someone knows here that this union is harmony. So I do feel like someone is enthusiastic about moving forward here and creating a balanced connection. I do not see a relationship. I do see a balanced reciprocal connection. So someone is wanting to move forward and balance out a connection here. Could be dealing, could be moving toward a Taurus or a Libra here. High priestess here, that's also Taurus energy. So it could be moving toward a Taurus, could be moving toward a Virgo here. Um, could be moving toward a Sagittarius, could be to moving toward a Scorpio here. And Pisces, I got Pisces. I really feel as though someone is mastering their passions because before I feel like there was a procrastination in moving forward I feel like someone is wanting to move forward I do not and I repeat I do not feel like someone's taking a leap of faith to go towards something that is emotionally fulfilling but I do not feel like this is toward a commitment I do not see a commitment um, I do see love and I feel like it's a very physical love. So it could be, honestly, it could be sex. It could be uh, becoming lovers with someone or something like that. It's according to how you see this. Because with this two of cups here, even though, like I'm telling you, I don't see commitment. I feel like it's setting the seeds toward a good experience. So I feel like this is moving toward an experience with someone a reciprocal experience synergy okay something will grow from it but i'm not sure if it is commitment so let's see what messages we have here what messages do we have for sagittarius aries and leo sun moon rising and venus what messages do we have give me one for sagittarius all right sagittarius we got focus here so this is about focusing and we got the amethyst here so someone could be focusing on some messages focusing on um healing moving forward here really bringing some abundance in some oh this is moving fast someone's focus okay this could be sex for some of you guys all right so aries here why give me a um messages for aries sun moon, rising venus moving forward give me an oracle for aries sun moon, rising all right oh volcano validity here so i feel like someone is going to be I feel like someone is going to be gaining some freedom here or freeing themselves fairly quickly here with the validity card. I feel like there's going to be an explosion or something's going to happen very quickly because someone is free. All right, so give me one for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me one for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me an oracle draw for Leo, all right? Leo, we have perspective. I feel like your perspective has changed. I feel like now is the time to really stay focused and stay vigilant on your path. Um, I do feel like though something is going to change because someone's perspective has changed. So like all across the board for all the fire signs. So, you know, <laughs> in that old cycle so you can go on toward this new stuff. That's all I got, y'all. Peace.